Touchdown Raiders! If you're about to forget everything that I'm going to tell you these next few minutes about Texas Tech football, at least remember the first 10 seconds. Last season, Texas Tech's offense again was awesome. They usually are. But defensively, they again stuck up the field, rushing and pass defense-wise. What's new? That pretty much is a nutshell right there. Of course, we'll continue with the show. But again, if you forget everything I'm about to tell you, just remember how good they are on offense, especially through the air. But remember, defensively, there's you know deficiencies that don't ever seem to get solved in Lubbock. But we'll begin with the good first, and that is the Texas Tech offense. Patrick Mahomes, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, threw for over 4,600 yards a year ago, 35 touchdown passes, and don't forget he's a dual threat QB too, 10 rushing touchdowns. And remember, he performed this way in spite of having a bad ankle for part of the season. So we know that as terrific as those stats are, he could probably even improve upon that if healthy. Now, the running game is a big part of Texas Tech's offense, okay, believe it or not. And DeAndre Washington was one heck of a player for them, had a big year in 2015, but you have to replace him with Justin Stockton. Saw a glimpse of him last year, the Iowa State game, had over 100 yards rushing. Stockton also caught two touchdown passes against Oklahoma State in 2015. The receivers, Akeem Grant, was a big, big part of Texas Tech's offensive success. How big? He had 90 catches a year ago. Texas Tech, their next two receivers did not even have a combined 90 catches. Tells you how often that um, Grant was a valuable target. So you do have experience, though, with the receivers. Uh, Reginald Davis, 38 catches a year ago. Cameron Batson's back, along with Ian Sadler. And a valuable piece that uh, Tech acquired from the junior college ranks, Derek Woolies. So I think you'll be hearing a lot about that guy. Okay. Offensive line, we know they got the wide splits, which helps when it comes to pass protection because, of course, defensive ends have to make up more ground when trying to get to the quarterback. So good philosophy for Tech as far as throwing. But, you know, some talent will have to uh, be replaced. The Raven Clark, as well as Alfredo um, Morales, two all Big 12 linemen from a year ago, they're gone. So we'll see Balin Brown now at the left tackle position, started 11 games last year, 23 for he starts for his career. No question, their most experienced player back on the offensive line. Center is Tony Morales. He started seven games last year. We'll see Justin Murphy at right guard. He started four games last year as a freshman. As Coach Boone once said in the movie, remember the Titans? Shape up that D, Ghost. Yeah, defense needs shaped up in every fashion, but rush defense, that's where it starts. And last season, they couldn't stop anybody on the ground. Now they have a new defensive line coach. And boy, does Kevin Patrick have a job to do in his first year as defensive line coach. He said earlier that obviously plugging up that middle, you know, making sure that that defensive line is occupied, one of his biggest priorities, he knows that the run has got to be the number one priority. In fact, when asked about quarterback sacks, he said that you know, quarterback sacks will be a bonus in comparison to run defense. So he's got his priorities straight, I think. Um, what will help is some new blood on that defensive line in terms of talent. A couple of transfer, one from Notre Dame uh, defensive end, Colin Hill, and uh, Andre Pipkins, the defensive tackle, former Michigan Wolverine, now comes to West Texas to try to help a defensive line against second worst in the country. By the way, Tech allowed 44 points per game a year ago, and defensive line uh, could be a big blame for that. Um, looking at linebackers, uh, they look like they were just real set in this area. It was going to be the biggest strength in their team. It still might be, but Dakota Allen won't be a part of it. Last year as a freshman, 87 tackles. But he got in trouble off the field. And that was it for him. Tech kicked him off the team, so his career as a Red Raider is obviously history. So they have back uh, strong side linebacker Malik Jenkins, um, one of the few senior starters on that defensive side, and we'll see if he stays at strong side. Weak side, Devontae Hitton, one of six projected sophomore starters on that defensive side. Secondary, of course, was just as bad. Um, second worst in the country, giving up 267 yards passing per game. Of course, a lot of it, you know, a lot of their play really depends on how the front seven does, you know, being able to contain the action and just not leave everything up to them. So we will see how the senior Keenan Ward uh, does in his final year as a Red Raider. And by the way, another safety. And this guy's, you know, I think this guy's got some potential in just Sean Johnson, the sophomore, and they returned the veteran at corner. Um, that is uh, Justice uh, Nelson. Okay, so the big thing about Texas Tech, you know, they forced 25 turnovers last year. That's a start. But they also, too, gave up uh, 44 plays of at least 30 yards. So they know what they got to do. But, again, it's got to start with the defensive line.
Could the Red Raiders go a perfect 4 and 0? Oh, that's right, go undefeated in the opening month. I think it's possible. Of course, they got to take care of business first on September the 10th in Tempe against ASU. Last year, Arizona State had a disappointing season by their standards. So you just never know what lies ahead in the desert in early September. Of course, if the Red Raiders can go 4 0, that would create a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence in, in the month of October. That doesn't hurt. Beginning with their first Big 12 road game in Manhattan against Bill Snyder's Wildcats. That's a game that can go either way. The most appealing home game, that's simple. October 22nd against Oklahoma and the return of Baker Mayfield, whom his freshman year started at Texas Tech. So you think the Red Raider fans uh, won't be just a little vocal? Yeah, they're going to be a lot vocal. Signs point toward yes on that. But the final home game, wow, this is early. Early November against Texas. I mean, how'd that happen? Last three games that Texas Tech plays, you got it are away from West Texas. Even with some key losses on the offensive side, I still think the O behind Patrick Mahomes will still be very difficult to stop. But defensively, until I see it with my own eyes, I won't believe that the defense will be able to contain the high-powered Big 12 offenses. I've got Tech finishing seven, not going to waver it.